I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me, whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashie. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Yappity flippers. 
Cool! You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? <laughs> they love to play with each other. <sighs> and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose! <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose! Sponge nose, sponge nose! Hmm, <laughs> 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 fair! Oh. Ah. oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just... Hey! You can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh, oh! Whoa! Uh, easy now! I just want to um See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa. <laughs> Look out! Whale shark! Straight ahead! Whoa. Oh, nice catch. Thanks. Are you OK? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece. Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one. Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. Ah, ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. And I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. Ah, you're on, matey. Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. Ah, that's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There, we're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Yay! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> the sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. 
I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now, what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. <laughs> Captain, Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Yep, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh. Oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the remora? <laughs> This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished as shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. 
Easy now. Don't chomp, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> Everyone all right? Ha! Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Hey, so go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbor seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on. I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh. Oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! Oh. Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody. Stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine. But where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, chaps! <laughs> okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! It's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck. Don't worry. We're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway. Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh. Can't reach. To do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Ha! Huh? Oh, remipedes, Captain. 
They're very unusual creatures, and this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen the Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh, oh whoops. Oh, hey. Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agreed, Cap. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. <sighs> Let's see, renegades. Um, well, they swim on their backs, have lots of legs, have long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Ooh, dark sea caves. Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cave? <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Jumping jellyfish, a dark sea cave. I must investigate. <gasps> Cap, Shellington has crashed. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. If anything's happened to him, I'm ready. The Gup C is ready too, Cap. Peso, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa hatch. You got it, Cap. Good luck. Amazing! Look at those stalactites and these stalagmites. Huh? Oh! You're not a remedied. You're a worm. <laughs> I must investigate further. Avast! There's the Cup D! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Ooh. This cave just goes on and on. What was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Hmm. Now, which way to go? Huh? Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. Aye, Captain. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Yeah! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. 
I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh, you're a Remipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. <laughs> ah, you're not from around here, are you? Oh no, which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one, then. This place is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope, so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes, especially since we've gone so deep inside. Aye, but where's Shellington? You'd think we'd have found him by now, mateys. That doesn't sound good. The rope! Yow! <laughs> Were you following me the whole time? You bet I was. We don't get a lot of visitors in our cave, so... We'd like to know what you're doing here. Well, as I said, I'm just exploring. Now that you've come this far, how are you planning on finding your way out? Well, oh, um, I, I hadn't thought about that. Um, and I might need a little help from you, actually. What makes you think I could help? Well, you're a Renipede. You live your whole life finding your way around dark sea caves. Hmm, you got that right. And you have an excellent sense of smell. Right again. You do know a thing or two about Remy Pete. Uh, hold on. I smell something else. I smell more visitors. Three of them. <gasps> we'll have to find Shellington soon, or these torches will run out. But how are we going to get out? We'll have to retrace our steps. This way. What's that? Octonauts! Shellington! Are you okay? I'm fine. I discovered a very large group of renipedes. Um, hello there. Hello. So, I bet you're lost too, just like your friends here. I'm afraid so. We keep taking the wrong turn. Now we'll never find our way out. Why not? Because it's so dark. That makes no difference to me. I am blind. Blind? But how do you find your way around? The same as any remipede. We use our other senses. Smelling, touching, listening. Of course. And if the remipedes lead the way... We can listen and follow their voices. And we'll find our way out. <laughs> you sure will. Octonauts, follow those remipedes. Come on, this way. Really there. Oh, thank you, Ramapids. No problem. I'd be happy to show you around this cave again any time. Okay, let's head for home. Okay, Captain. I'll follow you in the ga... Oh. What happened to the Gop D? I, uh, think you may have bumped into a few things on the way here, Shellington. I think it's better if I drive home. I'm sure I could do better this time, Captain. It's just there's a couple of tricky turns along here. I wonder if Quasi would let me drive the Gop D. Uh, doubt it somehow. Oh, I'm much better now, Captain. Captain Barnacles? According to the radar, estimated time of arrival 
is one minute. Thanks, Dashie. Tweak, your friend Sandy the sea turtle is almost here. Thanks, Kip. I hope she likes the special surprise I'm making for her. You better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. Visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Sandy! Tweak! Hey! Octonauts, this is my good friend Sandy. Welcome aboard the octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on, I made something for you. This is a friend finder. I'll put this on your back. And look, there you are. The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder, Tweak. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. bye. Farewell. Look, there she goes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Tweak, zoom in, please. Right away, Cap. It looks like Sandy's caught in the wrong current. And this one is headed straight for that whirlpool. Whirlpool? Yes, a huge, powerful swirl of water that pulls everything downwards. <sighs> Aye, and it can be very dangerous because it's hard to swim out of. Oh, no. Captain... Sandy needs our help. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Tweak's friend Sandy is stuck in the wrong current, and she's headed for that whirlpool. We need to save her. I've got just the thing, Cap. A turbo booster. It'll help the gut bay go fast enough to catch up to Sandy. Good work. Tweak, Quasi, let's go. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll save Sandy. Peso, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Captain. Friend Finder shows that Sandy is far ahead of us. We need to catch up to her. Hold on, Octonauts. Turbo booster, go! We're coming for you, Sandy! As fast as we can! Don't worry, we'll catch up to her, me hearty! We have to be careful that we don't get too close to the current, or we'll get stuck in it as well, just like Sandy. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
Oh! <laughs> Are we getting any closer to Sandy? Uh-huh, but we better catch up soon. Cause she's headed straight for that whirlpool. Find a way, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain! There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap! the beach to lay my eggs fast. You can hitch a ride with us. Barnacles to peso. We're going to need you at the beach. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, one hundred beautiful eggs. Congratulations, Sandy. Oh, thank you, Octonauts. <laughs> I think I'll need to make a hundred new friend finders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can 
learn to drive a gup as well as you do in just one easy lesson. Hi, matey. Tonight, I'm going to teach you everything I know. And then I'll surprise everyone with my advanced gup driving skills. Ah, uh, just one thing. Let's not wake up Tweak. No need to worry her about us taking out the gups for a little driving lesson. Right. Let's go. Uh oh. Shh. Sorry. After you. Now, I'll take cup B, and you, shall it in? Oh, uh, sorry. Shh. <laughs> I'll take cup B, you take cup D, and remember, just do everything that I do. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> Shellington! Yes, I'm coming! Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not bad! You're driving like a real swashbuckler. Now, remember, watch closely and do as I do, matey! <laughs> Jumping jellyfish! That's impressive! Your turn. Just put your paws on that steering wheel and go super fast. Right. Uh, that's not what I did. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again. Uh, turn yourself back over, matey. Now, watch me again and do exactly what I did. Just do exactly what Quasi does. I did it! Right. Well, we've crashed the gups, but it doesn't look like we did much damage. Uh, oh, whoops. Should we sound the octo alert? What? No! Uh, Tweak's not the only one who can fix gups, uh, especially when all they're missing is a few thingamy bobs. Here's what we need, the emergency toolkit. Uh, do you really think we can make the repairs ourselves? Of course. We'll have these gups fixed up faster than you can say, um, batcha, scratchy, catchy cat paws. Oh, well, uh, I guess the first thing to do is to find the missing parts. Exactly me plan, matey. First, we find the... Look, I've already found my steering wheel. See, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't just let go. Why not? I'm a moray eel. Once I bite down on something, I can't open my jaws unless I swallow whatever it is I'm bitten down on. And I'm sure you don't want to swallow a steering wheel. No, I don't. Don't worry, matey. A little help here, Shillington. Gotcha. Well, thanks. My name's Murray. And you guys are? Shellington? And Quasi. Now, let's put this back where it belongs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. We'll fix that with nothing more than with bare paws. Great work, Quasi. Listen, I don't mean to be nosy, but what are you guys doing out here on the reef at night anyway? Ah, uh, we had a bit of an accident. And we've lost some parts of our gups. We won't be able to go home until we find them and put them back on. None of my business, of course, but how many parts are we talking about here? Oh, good question. Let's make a list. Two orange rivets, two yellow rivets, one headlamp cover, one green console button, five carrots and one spring coil. Oh, that's a lot of little parts. And this reef has a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of ways to get lost and never be found. If you know what I mean. I see what you mean, matey, but we'll just have to search every cranny. And nook. Listen, I don't want to be pushy, but here's a little advice. If you want to succeed out here on the reef, you need to work with the right fish at the right time. You've got to cooperate. The only fish we know on the reef is you, matey. Then you're in luck. Come on, I'll introduce you to some pals of mine. So, Trooper, what do you say? Will you and the guys help my new friends find what they're looking for? <sighs> I don't know, Murray. We're groupers. We usually hunt for food at night on the reef, not little gut parts. 
Do you have any fish biscuits on you? What? Oh, yes, I do. We have food. <laughs> And there's more where that came from. I've got a big stash of fish biscuits in the cup B. And you can have every last crumb if you help us find our parts. Ooh, you got yourself a deal. OK, fellas, let's show them how we work. We eels don't see too well. So Trooper here and the rest of the groupers spot the food. Or in this case, a piece of your gut. But sometimes the thingy is inside a little crevice between the rocks. We groupers can see it, but we can't get to it. So we signal the eels like this. <laughs> and we going after it. More eels are experts at getting in and out of tight grips. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. Lovely jubbly. Fascinating. You groupers and eels cooperate when you hunt. We sure do. Sounds like we're ready for Operation Cooperation. Yeah, that's catchy, that is. Shooter. We can't go back without that. And we need to hurry so we can get to the octopod before morning. Uh-oh. I saw your coil, but it's nowhere groupers or eels will ever go. Are you talking about... Uh-huh. Stinger Rock? <sighs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. What Stinger Rock? That Stinger Rock. It's a rock covered with anemones, and they sting big time. Big time. <sighs> I bet Tweak would come up with the perfect thing to pry that spring loose without getting stung. Hi, Betty. Then we'll just have to think like Tweak. OK, so it's not as cool as something Tweak would make, but this doohickey should do that tricky. Good luck, Quasi. Excuse me, anemones. Almost got it. It's coming loose. It's... <laughs> we got, got it. it! Fellas, that's how you do it. That's real cooperation. Now, let's go fix that carrot shooter and get back to the octopod before everybody wakes up. <laughs> It's fixed. The gups are looking good. we better head back. It's almost morning. Thanks, Murray and Trooper. We couldn't have done it without help from you groupers and eels. Yeah, looks like Operation Cooperation was a success. It was a pleasure doing business with you, gents. Follow me, Shelton, and be careful. Hi, hi, Quasi. <laughs> You're up early. <laughs> yep. Looks like you two been out on a little old adventure. Uh, but we're back, and uh, as you can see, these gops are in perfect condition. <laughs> Aye, perfect condition. Not a scratch on them. Oh. Uh-huh. Looks like your steering wheel's a little loose there. <laughs> 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 What did I miss? Don't worry, Cap. We'll fix up those gups faster than you can say. <laughs> Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> Quasi, Peso, have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Hi, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. 
See you back at the Octopod. Barnacle's out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be okay. <laughs> Something's wrong. He's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks! Yow! Huh? I'm... I'm okay. Are you? Aye, but our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey, the first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gut. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! Oh, no! No worries. I'll go down and grab the gup finder off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything okay down there? Oh, no! Got it! Yes! Yow! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gup finder! <sighs> now what? Now? We find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the gup finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The gup finder shows that they're heading away from the octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the Gup Finder is showing that they're heading away from the octopod. Oh my, they could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The guppy is ready to go, Cap. Squeak, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! <laughs> hey! Hello and welcome. What? <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk. Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here, if he could find us at all. Don't worry me, hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. 
Goodbye, me hearty. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. <laughs> Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny, would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish. Spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Oh, hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. Oh, do? Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. to napkin carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted or they're stuck or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. <laughs> The sun is setting. Aye, matey. And it looks like we might have to spend the night here. Or maybe not, my friends. Look! We're oh, over oh, here! Matey. We're over here! Well, I'm looking for a couple of octagons named Hay and Presto. Huh? So the message got a little messed up, but it worked! Yow! <laughs> We're going home! Thank you, Blenny. No problem. Remember, you can count on me to help you out on land or sea. Just drop me a fishing line, call me on my shell phone, or sea mail me. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Faithy. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 